Hello, so today we are going to make a Keith Haring action figure and we're going to make it like a snowboarder and we're going to create a collaborative piece where each student creates a different pose, action pose of their Haring action figure on a snowboard and then we're going to put the snowboards all together on a background of a snowy hill or mountain and uh, collaborate where each student has a part in that final piece of artwork. So what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself, choose the color that you want for your figure, and then you're going to get a snowboard paper, which looks like a rectangle with curved corners. You're going to need to get a manila paper to go under your work. And start with your snowboard, write your name, and the day you have art, day A, day B, day C, flip it over, and on this side it's your snowboard, you get to design whatever you want. It can be all one color, it can be stripes, polka dots, zigzags, you can do some sort of words or design, anything that you can think of that you might want to have on your snowboard. So I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to do wavy lines. So I'm just going, we're going to use colored marker for this. If you want to use black and you'd rather use the permanent marker for the black on your snowboard, you can do that for sure. And when you color in with marker, I want you to color it in nice and solid and bright color. So if the marker starts to fade or die on you, either give it, cap it, give it some time to rest and take a break and then try again, or try a different marker. There's my snowboard. So now I'm going to set the snowboard aside. I'm going to get the colored paper that I want my action figure to be. And then we're going to use the action figures that I made for you to pose your snowboard or any way you want. Um, I'm going to, let's see, you might want to use your snowboard to kind of help you because if your legs are too wide apart, they might not be on the snowboard if you want both feet on the snowboard. I think I'm going to make my snowboarder um, be on one leg. So I have to make sure that the figure fits on the red paper. So if I leave it like this, the foot hangs off. So that's not going to work. So, um, I think I'm going to do him leaning, balancing with arms, and I'm going to make this foot face the other direction when I trace this. So when you trace your figure, it's an action figure, it moves, so it's going to move when you trace it. You're going to want to keep your pencil straight up and down. You're going to work on one part of the moving arms and legs at a time. So I'm going to do the top of the upper arm and the bottom. Then I'm going to move my hand down to hold the bottom part of the arm. And here, the elbow kind of has a divot there, and we know in real life that humans don't have that. So I'm just going to not trace that part, and I'm going to make it just go straight across. Let me zoom in here so you can see what I did. So you can see I, if I were tracing this exactly, I would trace right up into there, but instead I just brought this line straight across to meet the forearm. Then I'm going to come around, move around on the head, and then hold the upper arm and do the top and the bottom. Move down to the lower arm, and again, that elbow seems kind of crazy, so I'm going to bring that and then diagonal. Okay, now I hold the body. I'll do both sides of the body. And then I'll move on to the leg. Oops, I moved him just a little bit. All right. Now here, I'm going to stop. This is where the foot comes across, so then I'm going to draw. I'm going to leave that blank and start the end, the bottom of the foot here. And then I'm going to come around to the back of the leg. So now what I'm going to do is I haven't finished this foot because I want the foot to face this direction, so I'm going to use this foot to measure, to um, trace. So I know that's where the bottom goes and where the two sides go, so I'm going to fit the foot right into those lines, and then I'm going to trace the foot going this direction and make some adjustments. So now I have both feet going, but that knee looks funny bent that way, so I don't think that's very realistic, so I'm going to fix that. It's 
not the way the knee bends. So I think I'm going to use this leg again and have it coming out here. So you can trace the figure as is, or you can make some adjustments if you want, like I did. It's completely up to you. So I'm going to make an adjustment here by curving the corner there, and then this line here. I'm going to bring this back and bring this line in too. And that knee looks a little funny, so I'm going to curve that and fix that. So I want you, once you trace your figure, I want you to look at it and make sure it looks realistic. So when I trace my figure the first time, that knee was bent the wrong direction. So you need to look. And then I'm going to have, since this leg is in front of this leg, this hip, I'm going to have this line overlap a little bit into the body. And then you're going to take a chisel tip marker because I want you to use the fat part of the marker and you're going to outline your figure. And make sure you use a nice juicy permanent marker that you can trace carefully with this nice thick outline. All right, so there is my outlined figure. Nice thick black outline with the chisel tip. And so now I'm going to cut out my figure leaving the black line. So I'm going to cut on the outside of the black line, not inside or on the black line. Okay, so there's my figure. And now I want to place him on my snowboard, or on his snowboard. And I'm only going to be gluing his feet, so I'm going to put glue on the whole back of him, just on his feet. And I'm going to glue him to the snowboard, and then uh, we're going to put all the pieces together to create a collaborative artwork. So remember, collaboration is when a group of people work together to create something, put something together. So we are collaborating by creating an, a large piece of art of Keith Haring action figures on snowboards, snowboarding on snowy mountains. And so this is finished. Your name's on the back of the snowboard. And there you have your finished Keith Haring snowboarder. Good job.